All right, so now that we have our face and our neck and our accessories all finished, we're gonna focus on the clothing. So with the clothing, if you notice he's got some crazy pattern in here, you don't need to go that crazy with it, but like something like a little like insignia and these separate pieces here, uh, you're gonna wanna do like the zipper and the folds and all of that jazz. So we're gonna get the pen tool, make sure that our fill is empty give ourselves an outline color um, and we're going to give it a color of pink because it contrasts against the blue and we're going to go ahead and we're going to start tracing. So just like we did with our other layers over here, we're going to add a new layer and we're going to call this clothes. And once we've named that layer, we're going to go ahead and start tracing. So I'm going to start with this hoodie and again, you click, hold, drag, click, hold, drag, click, hold, drag, and just keep going all the way around, just like you did for the face and the hair. And you want to essentially break up the clothing into a lot of smaller parts. This is where the idea of like a puzzle and putting puzzle pieces together really helps when you think about it like that. So there's one shape, and we're gonna use our eyedropper and sample that color and that one's all set. So now if we go over into our clothes layer, I'm just gonna hide that layer so that way I don't accidentally trace over it again. And we're gonna do our next piece. And this is the opening of his sweatshirt, this triangular piece right here. Come all the way down here and I'm just gonna swap my colors so that way you can actually see what I'm doing. Click, hold, drag, and remember, pull your anchor points out in the direction you're moving. And go ahead and close that up. And then use your eyedropper to take a sample of your clothing color. So now we have two pieces, the top of the hoodie and the inside fold of the hoodie. We're gonna close both of those and now we're gonna do his black t-shirt. Click, hold, drag. Okay, and make sure that your fill is empty and that you can only see an outline color. And go ahead and trace all the way around his t-shirt, which is this black color here. So you're tracing along here. all the way around. I'm gonna go around his neck, so click, hold, drag, click, hold, drag, click, hold, drag, and then close it up. And now for the black, since we know it's just black, we can just simply fill it with uh, black. We don't have to sample it because we know it's just a black t-shirt. And now I wanna open up our files here so we can see our gaps. Now the best way to do this is to hide your image layer so that'll show the white through. So anywhere that's white in here we need to close up. So you're going to use your white arrow tool, your direct selection tool, zoom in and just move your points around. Now you're also going to play with the organization of your layers. So this first layer that I did should be on top of everything else and your black layer should go underneath so if we move our black layer oops, black layers points we're just going to pull them up and over so that way everything gets overlapped and there's no empty space You don't see any white through. Remember, you wanna you wanna make sure that you do this so there's no gaps. Otherwise, you're gonna lose some points um, on the craftsmanship of your project. All right, so we're gonna show our picture again. Now, what I want you to do is keep doing that for the rest of the of your clothing. 
uh, and make sure you organize and label all of your layers and save as you go. So you want to do a control S to save as you go. And then we'll move on to seeing what everything looks like all together.